completed my bsc from there so that time in the first year itself uh, i come up with two thing logic and proof in mathematics uh, from uh, a famous book uh, introduction to uh, real numbers by bartley and sarbert that one is very interesting book and uh, if you understand logic and proof technique correctly you will understand mathematics really in nice way then if you then that one is the part of logic and proof in bartley and sarbert later another also concept another another book by uh, abstract uh, algebra by john v frehley something like that yeah, john v frehley so he had mentioned uh, how to use definition so and so there i come up with two concept if definition is given there you can, i term that as a well defined concept and if there is a theorem that i call well defined result so in mathematics only two things are there well defined concept that one is coming from the definition and well defined reason that one is what we call it theorem and uh, any problem related to that concept or result you can solve with the help of those two just ask him you are in class so focus me okay i am telling you focus so just these two and with the help of those two you have to solve the problem so that would be the approach to tackle any mathematical problem you won't face any problem if you are going for that kind of how difficult that problem is uh, it, it will not affect much so that thing you will see here in the proof of the uh, law of variance so you had already seen uh, the proof of law of iterated expectation how you started uh, expectation uh, as per definition we say that it is weighted sum of x that value of random variable and then uh, we come to express uh, p of x as a marginalized uh, marginalized form of from joint probability mass function and the joint probability mass function we had written uh, in term of uh, the multiplication rule that p of y into uh, p of x given that scenario of y so y is very simple kind of things that we observe in the random process and later what we do we play the game of interchanging the summation two summation so you can say that change of order of summation or change of order of integration actually it is very easy to understand change of order of integration due to very interesting geometry there in if you follow thomas and finney calculus not thomas calculus thomas and finney calculus can cal calculus and analytical geometry by thomas and finney it would be there in the library and change of order of integration go there uh, theory is similar uh, for change of order of integration and change of order of uh, summation okay and from there easily we got that uh, uh, this form and it is expected value rule what we call it and 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 hence we have express this one as a expectation of conditional expectation outer one is expectation with respect to y inner one is expectation with respect to x so that we had already seen that proof the next we had defined uh, conditional variance so as per definition con through conditioning we are applying uh, con variance when you call then it is again a a square of it is expectation of a square of mean divided random variable but mean is here conditional expectation and variance is also we are taking from the conditioning approach okay conditioning and don't worry about x the order of x and y you can you can take y first x later it it is just uh, all these are con convention you can go for now from here we can establish that uh, so this law of iterated expectation is giving computation uh, computation of uh, expectation of x through conditioning if you don't know probability mass function of x then similar way law of variance this one is the law of variance law of variance is giving uh, computation of variance when you don't know probability mass function of x and what you do uh, these two terms are easy to compute through conditioning we are computing these two uh, right hand term through conditioning and if you talk about what is the proof of this one pr proof is also very simple in the similar line of expectation of x so uh, start with variance of x okay variance of x so variance of x how we had seen in the definition of variance of x it is actually uh, expectation of x square minus a square of expectation of x this we had already seen it it might be clear to everyone now in this uh, uh, in these two term we will introduce law of uh, iterated uh, expectation what we will do that means we know that here we are having expectation of x square 
सो एज पर लॉ ऑफ इटिटेड एक्सपेक्टेशन एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सपायर वुड बी एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सपायर गिवन वाई दैट मीन्स वी आर टेकिंग डबल एक्सपेक्टेशन इन आर एक्सपेक्टेशन इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स ओके एंड आउटर एक्सपेक्टेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई सो इट इज जस्ट कमिंग लॉ ऑफ इट इज रिटेड एक्सपेक्टेशन सो इफ यू से दैट वाई इट इज होल्डिंग होल्डिंग इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द हियर यू कॉल इट फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ इट इज रिटेड एक्सपेक्टेशन सो एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ इफ यू कॉल इट कंडीशनल एक्सपेक्टेशन एक्स गिवन वाई it would be equal to expectation of x that means y has been terminated expectation of x so the left hand side is conditioning approach and right right hand side is the pure one what we call it and or direct one then secondly what you do if you take any function of g of x and you ask to compute conditional expectation of g of x condition on y here we will write it is g conditional expectation of g of x condition on y condition on y okay and if you take outer expectation with respect to y always outer expectation would be with respect to variable through which we have introduced conditioning okay so here y is the variable through which we have introduced conditioning so then what would be the value of this one it would be expectation of g of x simply same law it is and the proof is also very simple if you try then you can go for that but in exam i won't ask proof of that i am just willing that you people should understand all these and someone is very much dedicated then you can uh, try go for proof of this one. If you, and if you face in that process let me know okay same thing is coming here here what is uh, what we observe here in place of x we are observing x square x square is what it is a function of x the square function so what would be uh, conditional expectation of x square in term of uh, law of iterated expectation we will write it as expectation of conditional expectation of x square given y condition by y so same thing is coming here so i think this term might be clear to everyone is it clear now is second term come it is a square of expectation so in plus of expectation what we will write expectation of conditional expectation so this one is coming from one it is coming from one very easily you can say that coming from this one okay and uh, this one is coming from two it is okay now we have done that the law of iterative law of iterated expectation we have already applied now we will simplify all this how we will simplify then we know that uh, here uh, what we know variance is actually equal to what uh, expectation of x square minus uh, square of expectation so what we will do here 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 we are having uh, one kind of expectation of uh, a square kind of things we are having okay so here focus on this only this Uh, focus on this what is uh, expectation of x square given y we are having so we will replace expectation of x square given y by variance of x square given y plus a square of what expectation of x given y Th that uh, that one is directly coming from the definition same thing what we have replaced here variance of x given y plus a square of expectation of x given y that we have as per definition of variance that decompose into two forms so that we have written so we have a square term so what we do we are focusing on this term here this a square kind of thing expectation of second moment kind of thing sorry so that we have expressed okay and uh, the uh, this term we left as it is okay now next what we will do we will take expectation inside so if you are taking expect uh, taking expectation inside this one is expectation of variance of x given y plus expectation of a square of conditional expectation okay fine no worry now uh, um, this one is as it is now focus on these two term how does it look like how does it look like 
does it look like uh, if you call uh, definitely uh, conditional expectation is a random variable okay then if you call it uh, z then this would be z square so it does look like uh, expectation of z square expectation of z square and what is the last term this one this look like okay expectation of conditional expectation expectation uh, a square of expectation of z it does look like so here minus uh, a square of expectation of z so what we know what is this quantity then what is this quantity expectation yeah variance of z so this uh, the second quantity uh, it becomes variance of z and what is z conditional expectation not expectation conditional expectation of x given z. okay conditional expectation of x given so same thing variance of conditional expectation of x given z so the proof is very simple it is very simple proof what we have applied the previous one what we just proved okay so this proof this we call it law of variance yeah, so here it is giving a way to compute variance of a random variable uh, discrete random variable uh, later we will see in continuous as well uh, through conditioning how you compute okay so proof might be clear to everyone is it clear Okay, I should write it here. What is Z here? I have taken Z is conditional expectation of X given Y. Okay. So now next, what we will discuss? Conditional expect. A few example we are taking it. So two example we have already taken. This one is the third example. I will call it third example. Okay. What is that question? Question is consider two random variable x and y, uh, which are jointly distributed, having a joint uh, property mass function. It is given here. Uh, Okay, this is the joint property mass function of x and y. It is given here. Okay, two value x is observing zero and one, y is also observing zero and one, and th these are the joint property mass function. There are in total uh, four joint points, and what we have to compute here first, we have to compute property mass function of x and property mass function of y. What we call that marginalization. How we will get it? Uh, here x is observing value here it is little bit different from the previous example x is observing value vertically y is observing value horizontally so how you will get uh, property mass function of x by rho sum and how you will get property mass function of uh, y by column sum so if you are willing to compute property mass function of x do perform rho sum of the joint property mass function so what is the rho sum the first question will be easily solved what is the row sum 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 that means 3 by 5 and likewise 2 by 5 plus 0 means 2 by 5 you can see that px is satisfying the property of property mass function uh, sum of 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 which is equal to 1 Likewise, if you perform column sum, then you will get P of Y. Okay. What is column sum? 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 again, 3 by 5. So, what does it look like? As per expression, it look like X equal to Y. Both are having the same distribution. Thus, only name has been changed. And this one is 2 by 5. You got uh, 
प्रोटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सेकेंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द कंडीशन प्रोटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स गिवन वाई इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड टू कंडीशनल प्रोटी मास फंक्शन वन इज पी ऑफ एक्स गिवन जीरो इट इज वन कंडीशनल प्रोटी मास फंक्शन अनदर वुड बी पी ऑफ एक्स गिवन वन सो फ्रॉम द टेबल कैन वी डू दैट डायरेक्टली डोंट गो फॉर कंपिटिशन फ्रॉम द टेबल इट सेल्फ डायरेक्टली डू दैट वैन यू आर सेंग दैट एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स इज नॉट फिक्स एक्स इज वेरी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट कॉलम सो वट इज द प्रोटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स गिवन जीरो हाउ विल गेट इट हाउ विल गेट इट हियर वी नॉर्मलाइज दिस बाय दिस क्वांटिटी ओके नॉर्मलाइज दिस वन बाय फाइव डिवाइड बाय थ्री बाय फाइव एंड टू बाय फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री बाय फाइव सो डोंट गो फॉर दैट थिंग सो वन बाय फाइव एंड थ्री बाय फाइव सो दिस वन इज वन पार्ट एंड दिस वन इज टू पार्ट सो ऑन आउट ऑफ टोटल थ्री देर वन एंड टू दैट मीन्स थ्री that one simply what would be conditional protein mass function of x it would be 1 by 3 and this would be 2 by 3 are you getting meaning of this or not what is the conditional protein so it is conditioning uh, that along the line y equal to 0 conditioning along the line y equal to 0 likewise what is the conditional protein mass function of x given y when oh, x given 1 x given 1 so that means you conditioning through this line y equal to 1 What is meaning? What is that? One. It would be one. Here, uh, y x is not observing, and here, uh, what is the probability of observation of uh, x together with one? It is zero. So it it is in a certain event. There is a single uh, thing. So it's a certain event now. It becomes certain. So conditional probability of x given one is one. So, so this computation you might have already seen here. Uh, conditional probability mass function of uh, the, yeah, it is. Uh, 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 you observe uh, so it is having a binomial distribution conditional probability of 0 given 1 it is 1 and conditional probability of 1 given 1 is 0 so it is a very certain kind of thing, event it is observing 0 uh, only 0 with probability 1 certain so in second case it is a certain uh, you are getting it is taking only one values so this conditional random variable x given 1 is very certain kind of deterministic quantity and x x given 0 is not deterministic that one is probabilistic in nature and uh, what kind of probabilistic it is bernoulli in nature okay so we have already computed second that conditional probability mass function of x and also likewise also you can compute uh, conditional probability uh, mass function of y as well if you are but uh, question is here only conditional probability mass function of x okay so two conditional probability mass function of x we got it here now third question is that find the probability mass function of z where where what is z Z uh, Z is actually defined as conditional probability, uh, conditional expectation. It is defined as a conditional expectation. So we have to compute uh, if it is a conditional expectation. So it would be a random variable. So we have to uh, compute probability mass function of Z, and also we have to compute other things related. Okay. So here, what is Z? Uh, we are talking about conditional probability, uh, conditional expectation of x. So we can compute it like this way. Easily you can compute. Uh, here we have seen uh, two uh, conditional probability of x. We are observing one with respect to zero, another with respect to one. One with respect to y equal to zero, another with respect to y equal to one. So that's why we are getting uh, this one uh, conditional expectation. This one is with respect to y equal to zero, and this one is with respect to y equal to one. And then uh, with respect to y equal to zero, how we will get weighted sum of x? There the weight is provided by conditional probability mass function of x given zero. Okay, given zero. This, this one. Okay, with that we will compute uh, conditional expectation. That one is coming as two by three. Now, if you take conditional expectation. Uh, uh, Of uh, conditional expectation of x given y uh, equal to one, and that value would come as zero. If you compute, it would be zero. Okay, and uh, that zero. Uh, now, if I talk about uh, what is the probability of existence, what is the probability of uh, occurrence of this one? 
it is coming y equal to uh, with respect to y equal to 0 uh, y is itself a random quantity and then what uh, what is the probability of existence of y equal to 0 it is 3 by 4 uh, 3 by 5 so that's where correspondingly the conditional probability of uh, conditional pro expectation will have probability of existence 3 by 4 likewise uh, the conditional this conditional expectation will have probability of existence 2 by 5 why because it is coming with respect to y equal to 1 and y equal to 1 is having having probability 2 by 5 so same same is the probability of this conditional expectation okay so we got probability uh, mass function of z what is that 3 by uh, 5 when our conditional expectation is 2 by 3 and 2 by 5 when our conditional expectation is 0 so this is the conditional probability sorry this is the probability mass function of conditional expectation z okay and once we have that then we can compute expectation of z what is that as per formula if you simplify it is just 2 by 3 and also second moment you can compute and with the help of this one you can compute variance of z as well so everything you can compute we what is the given thing we are having just we are having this table with this table we have computed everything okay the table is the given information and we can compute ev uh, everything so likewise if you go in a practical problem started from data just you are having data of two kind of covariate two kind of variate x uh, like height height x might be height and y might might be weight okay and n measurement so n by n table you will get or m into m uh, table you will get m by n table you will get and there you have to compute all these similar kind of things from the table itself you have to compute all these okay now another interesting problem everyone might be aware of maze what is maze in what is hindi name or bolbule okay so let us go to mouse page there is a mouse which is trapped in a room and with three axes at the center of image okay at the center of image room is the at least something like okay so exit one leads outside the maze after three minutes exit two leads back to the room room after five minutes then exit three leads back to the room after seven minutes okay so which one is favorable uh, exit which one is favorable exit one but mouse doesn't know have to experiment all this any of these uh, ag exist is equally likely equally likely okay then you have to compute the expected time taken for the mouse to leave the image how you will compute it no random variable is given here time kind of variable is there okay time expected time you have to compute the time is one random variable that expected time you have to compute so here first consider x as the time taken for mouse to leave the maze starting from room r okay and y that we are conditioning we are introducing exit exist the mouse chooses uh, first room second room or so first exit second exit uh, it is talking about exit uh, path exit path uh, path one y equal to one exist one y equal to two exist two y equal to three exist three but we don't we do now we, whether uh, uh, so what is the probability mass function of uh, uh, y do do we have any idea of probability mass function of y each path is equally likely one by three one by three one by three so we know about that but we don't know what is the probability mass function of x do we know probability mass function of x it is not given there but why we introduce and why is having very simple kind of distribution that uniform distribution one by three okay so that one is very which variable we will introduce that would be very simple but x talking about uh, time that one is having very complicated distribution that one is unknown to us we, initially we don't know how we'll compute all these so pictorially you can see that this is the room and there are three exist okay exist one it come out directly from the room exist two and three leads back to the room itself this is the maze okay 
So, how we will solve this? So, we can apply here law of iterated expectation. So, that we, uh, we are willing to compute expectation of x. So, we will not directly compute it through definition of expectation of x. What we will do here, we will apply conditioning. That means, a law of iterated expect expectation of conditional expectation f, uh, x given y, we are applying this one. Okay. So, if you break this one as per definition, so it would be what? Conditional expectation of x given y multiplied with probability of y. And this one is a random variable. Uh, this, this one is a random variable. It is a random variable and uh, what is the, uh, what kind of random variable this one? This one is a random variable which happens to be function of y. In the last derivation I had already told that. So, that means we are finding expectation of g of y, y varying y, y varying y. So, that means g of here it will, we will write it here g of y time probability mass function of y. What is the probability mass function of y? 1 by 3. It is 1 by 3. Okay. So, we will put here p of y is 1 by 3, 1 by 3 simply we will write and then uh, if you are taking y equal to 1, we, are, we will have conditional uh, expectation x given 1, y equal to 1. And uh, if you are taking y equal to 2, then we will have expectation of x given y equal to 2. If you are having uh, y equal to 3, then we will have expectation of x given y 3. And these three quantities are unknown un until we do not know what are the value of these. We do not know. If you know conditional uh, probability mass function of x, then we will compute. But that one is also here. In this problem, it is again very difficult. Then we will play loop game. Here, what is conditioning? What we know? What is that? It is given here. Uh, if you are taking y equal to 1, the exit path, what is the expected time? That it will come out. Exit 1 leads outside after 3 minutes. So, that is where this value is 3. Okay. And what is expectation of x given y2? That means you will come back to room again after 5 minutes. So, whatever expectation you will have after 5 minutes, you will have the same expectation. You have to again, it is a loop, one kind of. So, expectation of x given y equal to 2 is actually equal to 5 plus expectation of x. Again, you have to find. It is a loop. Are you getting meaning of this or not? So, expectation of x given y equal to 2 is actually 5 plus expectation of x. You have to again restart. You come back to a starting point again. Okay. Likewise, what is expectation of x given y equal to 3? After 7 minutes, you will come back to the room. That means, again you have to restart. When you do restarting, then again you are computing expectation of x now. So, like here, expectation of x given y equal to 3 is 7 plus expectation of x. Okay. Now, there would be no issue. Substitute everything there in the equation, above, above equation, call it equation 1. Substitute everything. In right hand, in left, right hand, left hand, you observe expectation of x. In right hand, you observe these different, different kind of conditional expectation. Okay. But all these conditional expectation, here, this one is having fixed value, but others are having express in term of expectation of x. So, in the left hand side, also you are having expectation of x. In right side, also you are having expectation of x on one equation and various uh, multipliers. Solve it by simplifying, you will get expectation of x equal to 50. This is the thing. So, here you do not need to compute probability mass function of x explicitly because it is a looping problem. Loop, there is a loop. Directly using a smartly with the help of law of iteration expectation, you can compute all this. So, this one is a major problem, always happens to be uh, uh, difficult kind of problem. And if you are just going for very different, different kind of technique, you will face problems. So, conditioning is very inter inter interesting. Con thanks to conditioning, we got this solution. Now, another problem, swimming with do dolphins. Okay. Uh, Fraser runs a dolphin watch business. How many of uh, you have watched a dolphin related movie? Actually, I am unable to recall name of the one movie that uh, main actor was Dolphin. People who are various things, it is not like it is just for observation purpose. It is, I am not saying that uh, uh, 
just you should go and watch movie observation purpose and you will see lot of things lot of competition various things would be there it is not like that they are making movie just for fun they are trying to express their creativity there in that movie so various things are related with that like uh, uh, i don't have to explain those things again you will see that uh, like uh, there are also uh, uh, veterinary doctor for uh, whale and other kind of dolphins kind of things it is not like that only for animals uh, veterinary doctors are there vet doctors are for various kind of animals so uh, here what is happening that every day he is unable to run the trip due to bad weather with probability p p is the probability of success the bad weather you can call it probability of success so independent of all other days so preja works every day except the bad weathers okay uh, which he takes as a holiday now then find the expectation and variance of the number of customer uh, fraser sees between bad weather day so how will solve this problem nothing no numeric data is given nothing is. so how will solve it all this all this uh, interesting kind of problem even if you go for olympiad kind of things uh, this kind of problems you will say something like that no numeric is there all these are very smart kind of question so let y be the number of consecutive days between two weather uh, bad weather day okay fraser have to work between two uh, bad weather day let x be the number of customer who go on fraser's trip in the period of y days y the number of consecutive days fraser has to work between two bad weather day okay one weather uh, bad weather day then another in between y uh, number of consecutive day uh, that we count and x be the number of customer who go on fraser's uh, trip in this period of y days okay so uh, condition on y the distribution of x is what it is a poisson distribution why why poisson distribution why not binomial distribution probability of success again that would be bad weather is it common if i am saying it is a summer time bad weather would be common in summer or something like that simply probability of success p is may be very small so that's why uh, we coming we come up with uh, x given y it is having a poisson distribution and uh, y is talking of about time interval so mu time y some factor of y would be number of y talking about number okay so this one is uh, coming as a uh, what we call it uh, a parameter of the corresponding poisson distribution you will raise a question why it is coming like that it is actually based on poisson process so, uh, later you will uh, get a chance to take a very interesting course that one is random process so, all these explanation you, you will get there random process i have taught many times a random process there video lectures you can find there in the uh, youtube you can find okay during pandemic type okay let uh, success be the bad weather day and failure be the work day same so what is the probability of success p p it is given it is given and then probability of success is p bad weather the probability of bad weather okay so why is the number of failures before first success so what is why it is a geometric random variable number of failures before first success it is a geometric random variable so what is the expectation of geometric random variable if you start with uh, uh, it depends upon sometime people are taking 1 by p and sometime p how you start whether you start with uh, uh, number counting okay generally it would be uh, 1 minus p divided by p 1 minus p expectation of a geometric random variable there i have computed actually uh, the first term you should look what is the first term based on that computation is happening first term if you are taking it p then it would be 1 by p simply if first time 1 minus p it, it is, you are coming like that then 1 minus p divided by p it is and variance is 1 minus p divided by p square uh, all these are coming from geometric random variable okay so we know that y is here geometrically distributed so we know x given y is poisson distribution so what is the expectation of uh, a poisson random variable it is equal to the parameter and variance is also equal to parameter what is the parameter mu time y okay 
So actually here x given y is a conditional random variable. So that's why we are finding conditional expectation it is mu time y. That means it is a function of y and variance is also same mu time y. So as per the law of as total expectation, expectation of x equal to as, uh, expectation of conditional expectation. That means conditional expectation it is mu time y. So it is just expectation of y. That one is mu time expectation of y. That one is uh, uh, 1 minus p divided by p. So mu, mu will be multiplier. Okay. So this one is the formula. Right now say that it is formula. All about that we don't know the probability mass function of x. So don't try to open it up. Okay. So we will keep on solving. We have already got conditional expectation of x given y. It is mu time y. Then expectation from here we come up with expectation of x. It is coming like this way. Okay. So what is the variance, variability? How? Actually, what was the question last? Actually, some vari variability. I think it was. You, you have to compute the variance something like. Question might be, what is the variability? How? How? Mm, what is the variability of x? Number of variance of customer. What is the variance of customer that you have to compute? It? How many? So variability that you have to compute. So variance of x. How you will compute? You don't know the probability mass function of x. So you have to apply law of variance. Expectation of conditional variance plus variance of conditional expectation. And you have all everything here. Expectation of uh, actually this actually we should compute variance of oh yeah we know that what is variance of uh, uh, Poisson distribution Poisson random variable it is the parameter itself no so same it is coming here. Uh, expectation of uh, mu time y y variance of conditional expectation uh, variance of x given y is what x given y is a Poisson distribution so variance of x given y would be mu time y so that's a mu time y so it becomes expectation of mu time y plus uh, just we have seen conditional expectation uh, conditional expectation of x given y it is what mu time y so we are having variance of mu time y so mu is what a scalar uh, or deterministic thing. Uh, here mu is it will come out so mu time expectation of y and here we will have uh, it is a various things. Variance is a quadratic operator, a square kind of operator. So if you are taking any constant out of variance uh, in the process of computing it, a square term will come out. The coefficient will be a square term. It will come out. So that's why here mu square will come out. And uh, inside we will have just variance of y. And inside we will have a variance of y. And y is what kind of thing? It is a geometric random variable. It is a geometric random variable, and with probability of success p, with probability of success p. So just uh, the first term would be what uh, mu time one minus p divided by p plus mu. Second term is variance of y. That would be mu time one minus p divided by uh, uh, mu into one minus p divided by p s uh, p s square. Simplified. This is the divide, uh, desired variability of the customer. If you know mu, if you know p. It would be a numeric value. It would be a numeric value. It is very uh, indirect kind of question what we call it regarding uh, Dalpin problem. Okay, any question till now? Any question? It is little bit difficult question. It is not like that simple question. I have taken it this question from uh, one university. I unable to recall. It is from uh, New Zealand actually. Uh, so uh, they have also written very good book. It is not like that. We are all all right. Now. The last thing regarding further on conditional expectation I will talk about that we will try to express probability as a um, conditional expectation. When such situation is coming, probability is a conditional expectation. When expectation is equal to probability. Have you seen anywhere where the expectation is equal to probability or probability of success? When that scenario is coming? When you are dealing with Bernoulli trial, a uh, Bernoulli random variable, Bernoulli, that time you have, you have seen that expectation of Bernoulli random variable equal to P, the probability of success, same situation. Okay, I forget this. So if you take indicator uh, function as a random variable, so consider an event with probability A, it occurs. Okay. 
then define indicator function with respect to a what is indicator function several time i, I have told that it is defined as uh, it is taking value 1 when call it omega when omega is coming from the set a that means element of set a is back to 1 and those elements which are not in set a which are mapped to 0 so that one is indicator function that this function indicates about a it is dealing with that so indicator function is always a bernoulli random variable it is a always a bernoulli random variable so if you are willing to find expectation of indicator function it is equal to probability of success what is probability of here yes, success meaning being in set a failure means being outside a under the indicator function under the indicator being outside a so the expectation of a is equal to this one okay and here again here we will apply some kind of law of iteration through a another, another random variable uh, y so uh, expectation of indicator function indicator random variable y uh, i it would be equal to expectation of conditional expectation of i given y okay and how many value i is taking two value 1 and 0 so with respect so uh, with respect what is the probability of uh, we are not uh, so uh, what is this one this one is probability of success regarding 0 0 if you multiply something with 0 that will vanish now that will 0 so just we focus on uh, success focus on success because uh, we are talking about this kind of Bernoulli random variable and what is this one it is expectation of probability of y given probability of a given y so the probability of a we are writing expectation we have written in term of expectation probability of a we have written in term of expectation of a probability of a given y okay so it is little bit uh, you don't have to so why is suitably picked a random variable uh, as per your choice of what uh, what kind of thing you are willing to uh, choose it okay and further application you can find okay leave uh, this might be complete little bit complicated at this first semester if you will take probability again you will find all these interest okay so any question till now or uh, i am going to wind up this lecture